Today we are out on the mountain bike trail working on a raw edit for Marin Bikes. So since this is a raw edit, we're focusing just on the bike sounds and the sounds of the trail. We're gonna be showing you some setups of cable cams as well as some ways that we're capturing this raw sound to overlay in that footage. We've got a great crew with us today. We've got Ryan behind the camera doing BTS for us. We've got Jarrett helping with cable cam stuff and also taking photos. And then we've got Mark doing all the awesome writing. So check out all those guys down in the description below. You'll find links to their pages there. For today, we're just gonna get into it, starting with a cable cam setup. I'd say when I start getting into it, you drop the camera. Yeah, just shout when we should drop. Drop! I think three seconds three, earlier, four, yeah. Oh, thank you. Drop! That is really sick. Like, that's definitely I mean, that usable. piece is usable for sure. Oh, 100% sure. usable. That is 100 really sick. Usable. I, I almost wouldn't even change it. I know. I can't think of better timing for the riding perspective. We can try it. That way you've got like, two that's like to the go perfect, with, right? It does look pretty sick the more I watch it. Yeah. yeah, that's like the perfect timing for the riding. Yeah, that's really good timing, man. Dude. Yeah. That is it's just so like, cool. It seems like odd to like get it that close the first time. <laughs> I know. It really helps. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to be like, okay, we got it. I really like that, honestly. Sweet. We could try another one just to see how they compare. Let's try one sweet. more, a little bit tighter. I'll, yeah. I'll just zoom the lens oh, in, yeah. same drop time. Before you go up, Mark, could you stand um, just on the trail? Oh, dude, it still looks sick. That's so sick. sick. I, you stayed, it was like the same framing, but just a yeah, little, a bit, little tighter. bit tighter. Man, that's yeah. perfect. I don't know, I might have got more spray on that one. Yeah. I mean, are you happy with both those? I'm happy with both of them. Okay. Those are dope. Well, I feel like <laughs> a kid on Christmas. It's just this first bit when it's like over the school size. I mean, it's going to take more work, this one. Oh yeah, for when sure. This is probably one of the harder cable lines, I think. Yeah. Just because it's on this cliff side. But it's going to be the coolest. It's going to be really cool. Get some shots up here. If it's going to be okay light. And it's going to be like this tomorrow probably too. Yeah. And Sunday is saying full sun. Yeah, it's frustrating, man. I was really wanting to ride this all over. I know. I think that one here is a little bit challenging. Well, that's a, the best ladder setup so far. Yeah. That's working pretty good. We've got the, the line set up and pretty stoked about this one. It was really easy to put together and clear corridor, good angle. So I think it's gonna work, fingers crossed. I don't wanna say it's gonna work yet because you never know until you run the camera down. Right now I'm just getting the gimbal set up with the wireless setup. So as you probably have seen in previous videos, I'm, I'm rocking the Mars 300 Pro on here and this gives us about a 400 foot range of, of wireless transmission and we run that into the OC 4k 7 inch monitor which is really nice just for seeing what you're doing having something a bit bigger so we're going to try this shot with the Tokina 11 to 16 um, the cable is running really close to the trail in this case so having something a bit wider to have a little bit more flexibility in getting the frame right is going to be helpful I tried it with the 18 to 35 it's a little too tight. Might work if we're leading the rider a little bit. But for now, we'll start with this, see where we get, and then uh, we can adjust as needed. Yeah, right. That'd be really sick if we get these rollers so, in here too. It's kind of early though. Okay, go ahead. And I think if we can just be right in front of you as you're ripping off that jump, yeah, that's gonna look awesome. Maybe a cool transition from there, and then the second one is like chasing me or something. Yeah. That's gonna get a real good distance. Oh, that's gonna look so Can you pan over sick. to the shark fin from there? Yeah. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that's I gonna be even, so I dope. Even, like, I'll even ride off the sh shark fin Yeah, again. totally, dude. It's been a while since I've filmed a proper video and I've never done a raw edit either. So it's even more challenging than a usual video. Like we'll get one cable cam shot set up. It might take a couple hours. And then after we get the shot, I gotta gear up my bike with like a microphone. And then I gotta hit the line a few extra times to get the audio sound. And I have to ride it as close to possible as I did when we had the like 
banger shot that we really wanted to get. So it's like a lot of like consistent riding on top of repetitive riding. It's pretty challenging, but I think the overall result's gonna be pretty insane. Will this be in the shot, these rollers? Yes. I'm wondering if I should like manual through them for the video. Yeah, it'll look cool. I think it'll look cooler. It'll be real. I mean, any bit of style that you can add, I think, yeah. is really just gonna up the, totally. up the video, right? It's gonna be so good if the audio. Yeah. Well, what if we get to the point of like the sun is just doing this all day and we're like, well, we can't do anything. We might as well capture yeah. some audio. And then mm -hmm. if I don't, you, we can still capture more on yeah. Monday. Let's see how bad you screwed this up. I screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> so you hold it. I tried to follow you right. there, but then I just like, you just got so far ahead. Oh yeah. Um, it's really hard to catch you on the first jump, it seems like, eh? Yeah, that's the issue. It is so close. We should just try a chase shot for the whole thing. What yeah. if this part looks sick with the chase? We can cut yeah. to oh, the yeah. front for that one. I really like the head-on in the, the first shot, though. That was such a cool perspective. You, you, might, the, like that. you, you might like it as a chase, though. Yeah, let's yeah. just try it. Cool. Let's try I'm, it. I'm, like, done trying that angle because mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if we nail it. Yeah. We've done a couple rundowns with the camera leading Mark, and the first one came out pretty good, having a little hard time keeping him in frame for one of the jumps. The second one was totally just did not work, but um, good practice runs. Now we're gonna try a shot where the camera is chasing Mark and just give us a different angle. And we just wanna test all these out. We're probably not actually gonna be able to film this today because it's too sunny, um, but just getting all the angles dialed in to see what's gonna work. I, mean, I like that he can see you whip the bike more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. I almost do like a manual from in front, but on the ground, like zoomed in tighter. Just like focused on my wheels, like ripping oh, through. Yeah. That'd be cool. And then yeah. like cut to like maybe that shot where I'm like midway through it and then popping off this. Cable cam shots are looking cool, but the light just sucks right now. So we can't get the shots for the video today. Hopefully we can get those uh, another day without having to reset this line. So what we're gonna do instead is start capturing a bit of the audio for this section of the trail. And Mark will just have to repeat the style of riding that he's doing every time he rides it so that the audio will match up. So to do that, um, I picked up this Tascam DR10X, super small recorder that has an XLR input. We're hooking just a short piece of cable on this just to give us some flexibility. And the biggest thing we were concerned about was having this out of the way of the rider so that there was no risk of injury or anything like that. So I'm using the Sennheiser MKE 600 shotgun mic and it has a battery inside of it to power itself. We've got a nice big furry here to protect us from the wind. And we're just going to gaff tape this onto the bike. So it's gonna go under here so that it's out of the way of the pedals, out of the way of any compression happening here. And then we're going to mount this right up on top and then we'll tuck the cables in, make sure that they're all taped really well. It's not the most reusable solution. We kind of have to tear it apart every single time. Over the long term, I might build some kind of mounting bracket for this, but for what we're doing right now, this works really well. It doesn't require that much tape to get it all pieced together. So in terms of positioning this, I've got the microphone pointed backwards and I'm really wanting that sound coming out of the rear of the bike. We're getting all the noise that's happening here, anything that's happening on his pedals. And it's pretty isolated sound, which is, is nice for working with it in sound design. It doesn't have any other, you know, traffic sounds or other bikers or anything like that. So that works pretty well. And the recorder end, we just put up here. Today we're gonna be getting the biggest hits this thing has uh, taken so far, so. We're gonna hope it survives. Sharknado jump line, first slap down. Okay, rolling. That's really good. There's like a very s subtle case and it's a soft lighting, so maybe you can tell like maybe it's usable, but. Yeah, that worked out. I really boosted over the stump gap that nice. time. Sweet. You can tell I'm in the air for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love when you're in the air, how it's just like, you can just yeah. hear that air sound. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm stoked on that. Yeah. So yeah, if you can just do a few more runs, that okay, would I'll be... Do a